What is up, everybody? RJ back with another review today, and today I'm gonna review the uh, John Morrison Rockstar DVD. This DVD uh, came out earlier this year. It's a one disc set with uh, only eight matches on it. I think they did a good job on the artwork on the disc, uh, but the front looks kind of generic, and the back looks a little better than the front. Overall, the artwork is mediocre at best for most part. They actually give you a, a insert, which is not very common nowadays, but they at least they gave you one of those. There's eight matches on this DVD, and uh, let's just get into the review right here. Let's do it. Uh, the DVD starts off with John Morrison on uh, like at the beach, and he's just walking through. And uh, I would say the story is short, but it really isn't a story at all. They barely talk anything about his past or anything. It's not much of a story. It's more like they show a few hobbies of him, answer a few questions in the really quick fashion, and that's about all there is to it. Uh, there really is no story to this at all. Another thing I don't really understand is uh, why they have eight matches on here, and John Morrison loses five of the eight matches. He only wins three matches. Uh, I think uh, it's good that WWE's putting out some different DVDs this year, you know, instead of the same old people, like there's already been so many Kane DVDs and stuff, but I think that John Morrison's a little too early in his career to uh, really have a DVD yet, but uh, having said that, let's just get into the matches so I can give you guys my opinion. First match of, uh, first match of the DVD is CM Punk versus John Morrison on ECW season 07 back when Joey Styles was still commentating and everything uh, John Morrison was the ECW champion at the time uh, this, is, this is the last match that uh, CM Punk gets uh, if you guys remember uh, what's that guy's name uh, Alejandro Estrada guy the guy that didn't last long he used to be Umaga's manager was at the time the GM of ECW so to speak and he told CM Punk for a little backstory that if he doesn't win this, this is his last opportunity. CM Punk wins it. Not a very good match really at all. Uh, then they show a little best of the dirt sheet, which was was okay. It was it was the dirt sheet was a pretty funny thing. They talked about uh, HBK. They talked about you know the the game and stuff. They talked talked about a lot of people. It was it was entertaining. I give them that. That was entertaining. After that, we had the Miz and Morrison versus D Generation X. Not a very good match, very quick match. I don't, I don't know why, like I said, they put John Morrison losing so many matches on here. But, yeah, they caught the L pretty quick in that match. Not very good. Then they got uh, this little segment where they're back on the beach with John Morrison, straight from the Palace of Wisdom. Basically, he gets asked ten questions. A few of the questions were pretty entertaining, pretty funny. But for the most part, they were just like, you know, really quick answers. And he didn't go into detail with the questions at all. There's only 10 of them, and it was really kind of a waste of time. John Morrison versus Evan Bourne. Not really a good match at all. ECW, not good. Very quick match. Uh, it's the first match John Morrison wins on the whole DVD. Not, not that good, though. Not very good. Then we get to him training. Now, it's very interesting. This part of the DVD is very cool to watch. Uh, it's, it's crazy the amount of training and the way John Morrison trains. Uh, is it worth picking the DVD up just for that? I definitely say no, but I would definitely check that part out on here. If you if you don't get it, like look on YouTube, I'm sure somewhere you can see him training. It's crazy uh, the way he trains and stuff. But this, that's about all I have to say about that. John Morrison versus Chris Jericho. Uh, it it was an okay match. Very quick again, but it was oh it was an okay match. It wasn't the worst. wasn't the best. It was just okay. Let's see here. John Morrison versus Edge. A pretty good match, actually. They show a little bit before the match where John Morrison comes out and him and uh, Edge have a you know, back and forth conversation for a second, which I'm glad they added that on there before they went to commercial on SmackDown. So it was a pretty decent overall, that part. John Morrison versus CM Punk. Uh, not good at all, really. Not a good match. Making him a surfboard. For some reason, he goes to his buddy's place. And they show him making his own surfboard with the cross and stuff. And just just a waste of time, really. I mean, they consider this like the story 
I don't know when I was going to pick this up before I, I did. I saw a commercial. It's supposed to be like an hour long story. It's not even a story. It's not even an hour long. Even if it was a story, it's, but which it's not. I mean, him making a surfboard's not really telling me much about him or him growing up or you know anything like that. So it's just a waste of time, really. Jeff Hardy versus John Morrison. Uh, this is during Jeff Hardy's world title run. Morrison got that title opportunity. It was it was a good SmackDown main event. It really was. Morrison takes two Swanton bombs before he takes the the pinfall. Definitely worth watching that match. One with the ocean. This is the part where he takes the surfboard he made earlier on the DVD and he goes out in the water they show him surfing a little bit with the camera and stuff then he goes out in the middle of the ocean he talks about how it's calming to him to be uh, out there in the water and stuff you know it calms him down he likes being alone out there and stuff pretty pointless really I mean no one really cares about that uh, just just a very very poor uh, poor part of the DVD the last match of the DVD Intercontinental Championship match Ray put this title on line against John Morrison Everyone knew Ray was dropping the title that night because of his suspension, but it was still, it was by far the best match of the DVD, a great match all around. Um, after that, we got The Journey Continues, where he basically just, in the same cutscene with the sand and stuff, where he's just out there talking, doing the whole thing, that he just pretty much says he don't know what the future has for him and stuff, and he just walks away. A very weird ending, I mean, it's not really much to this. Special features, there's only one special feature on this entire DVD. And all the special feature is, is uh, during his ECW time, with it, when he first got the title, he came out with some, like, lawyer or something, and he came out like, he is no longer known as Johnny Nitro, and then he comes out there, he's like, I am now John Morrison, and he does this little promo with CM Punk, who he's getting ready to face at, uh, Great American Bash and stuff, just pointless, it's kind of sad one, like, pay-per-views nowadays, like, the Fatal 4-Way just came out, has more special features than his DVD about his career, but given all that, here's the verdict. This DVD does have a few good matches, and by few I mean probably two. Having said that, uh, it's cool to see another superstar, a new superstar get a DVD. Like I said, I'm not sure John Morrison should have been the guy, but I have it, find it very hard to recommend this DVD to anyone to buy. Well, the way I see it, it, only buy this if you're like a really big John Morrison fan, or you just collect every DVD like I do. Other than that, if you just buy certain ones and you skip on others, this is a pass in my opinion. Definitely uh, has a couple good matches, but not worth it. Maybe if you find this thing for a few dollars, pick it up. But unless you're a John, big John Morrison fan, or you collect every DVD, just pass on this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks.